Hello to you too. The board had several concerns about the process, including how it would be paid for and whether or not it was even legal. Supervisors were told that 300 volunteers would be needed to count those ballots by hand. That would cost about $1.1 million. Members of the board and the public disagreed on whether that was even worth it and whether hand counting would actually improve the accuracy. There is not one scrap of evidence, not one, and I would challenge any of you to show me one that shows that a hand count is more accurate in any way. Folks are losing faith in our elections. That is my biggest concern. They don't think that their vote counts. That's why I'm willing to do this. That's why I'm willing to risk that I'm going to get thrown in jail. Supervisor Ron Gold brought up going to jail because state leaders have said a hand count would be illegal. State Attorney General Chris Mays sent the board a letter saying a full hand count is only legal in exceptional circumstances. Now, Mays released a statement after today's vote saying, quote, the board's decision to adhere to state mandated procedures for ballot counting avoids potential legal complications and reinforces public trust in the integrity of our elections. End quote. While local attorney Brian Blem said that he would represent the county for free if they got sued, some board members said it still wasn't worth taking that chance. In the newsroom, Vanessa Ariza for Arizona's Family.